In Orlando, they have 500 cameras that monitor traffic uh, regularly. We have none on the interstate, at least in this area. But what if we did? Could the tragedy on a smoky and foggy I-75 last month have been prevented? State Representative Keith Perry says it's a definite possibility. He says better communication between law enforcement, airport officials, and meteorologists who have the technology to see what is going on outside is needed. After that, more signs, electronic ones that can warn drivers of dangerous conditions in real time. Another issue is the lack of traffic cameras on that stretch of highway. ITS officials say they monitor 119 of them here in Alachua County, but not one of them zeroed in on Payne's Prairie. I don't think we can rely on highway patrol officers to be driving through the area all the time, so we have to get better technology. ITS officials agree more cameras and signs would help save lives. When you have the ability to uh, have technology just about anywhere, and then you can do things remotely that you don't know about until you arrive. So just having cameras allows you to see what's going on and make changes immediately. Uh, you can then report to others exactly what's going on and then uh, that allows just better coordination. Officials say the cameras aren't just helpful for watching drivers on the roads, but the actual weather conditions too. So they may be able to see that weather pattern moving across different roadways and notify Highway Patrol in advance that you know it's moving again and so that they may have that opportunity to close the roadway. But Perry says it all comes down to money and his proposal could cost more than a million dollars. I don't know where it's going to come from directly. I just know that we're going to work until we get it. And then he says push a bill through the legislature which would not only increase roadway technology but put a new system in place for determining if the road is safe. He says the 1 through 10 visibility scale isn't good enough and if there was a better system last month then at least 11 other people might still be with us today. Kimberly Howard, GTN News, working for you.